Bengmaaliya is a very impressive temple built in the reign of King Suryavarman II, 12th century CE, and modified by Jayavarman VII. It is located in Bengmaaliya village, Bengmaaliya commune, Svelu district, Siamreet province. It is about 77 kilometers northwest of Siamreet town and faces the eastern part of Kilan Mountain on one side. Importantly, it is situated along the Royal Road to the east of Angkor, where it leads from the eastern part of Baking Mountain. From Angkor, the Royal Road passes temples such as Bat Chum, Chausre Vibal, Banti Ampil and Bangmaaliya to Priya Khan, Kampong Sve. This ancient road has well-constructed bridges such as Spin Taung, Spin Kvav and Spin Kameng. Bangmaaliya is flanked by Prasat Don Chan and Prasat Ko Chin on the west, Prasat Kong Plek and Prasat Dre on the east. Bengmaaliya was constructed on a large scale. Unfortunately, it is now seriously damaged due primarily to natural degradation and collapse. The main architectural element is sandstone, which was taken from nearby quarries. The temple was built on a flat plan in a compound of 14 hectares, and consists of one central sanctuary, surrounded by three galleries and connected by cruciform galleries. It is surrounded by a moat of 1200 m in length and 900 m in width, a symbol of a cosmos ocean surrounding Mount Meru, the residence of all the gods. There are four smaller structures, previously termed libraries, two are in the inner enclosure and the other two are in the outer enclosure. The sites has three ponds located in the east and they are approximately on either side of the main entrance. Sra Kyo and Sra Svetong are in the north and Sra Thmar Bakrim is in the south. Bing Mayalia has two large structures on the south side of the third enclosure, which have been termed palaces, or halls for ritual ablutions and dances. This type of structure appears before the entrance of the sanctuaries, basins, and other places. Generally, it has two levels, the upper level assumed to have been used for king and his family members, and the lower level for the members of the court. It has a long causeway that leads from the east entrance to the moat surrounded by Naga balustrade and lion statues. Significantly, there are three other causeways leading to the three other cardinal directions. These causeways are supported by cylindrical columns and also adorned with Naga balustrades and lion statues. A cruciform terrace leads to the Gopra of the outer galleries. Furthermore, two architecture innovations can be seen in this temple complex. They are wide vaulted roof galleries in stone and a vault supported on one side by a row of pillars and on the other side by a wall. Bing Mayalia was decorated with 180 lintels, depicting the scenes of churning the sea of milk, Mahabharata, Ramayana and some individual Brahmanic deities such as Shiva, Brahma and Ganesha. It is unlikely that the walls did not bear decoration, either bar leaves or were probably coated with frescoes as there is no remaining trace of carved stone. The pediment depicted deity scenes, most of which were presented in multiple levels, creating significant style and beauty. Cylindrical columns, divided into seven sections, are fully decorated with florals and vines can also be seen, and door frames are decorated with flowers, vines, and some tiny figures of deities. This type of decoration is also found at Angkor what a particular note are, the Dvarapala, door guardians, figure, which look quite similar to at Banti Samra temple, in their clothing and especially the fishtail design for the sampot, secondly, a figure of a divinity, who might be sitting on a cow, Shiva, or buffalo, Yama, 61 cm high, and thirdly, the torso of a male figure, 61 cm in height. A further 34 fragments of divinities were found in the year 2000, most of which are fragments of Dvarapala, lions and columns. It is rare to find the statues of the deities in the temple. However, there are three statues originating from Bingmaaliya, presently housed in the depot of Angkor Conservation. The statue of Avalokitesvara with four arms, 140 centimeters in height was found in the first enclosure between the four central sanctuaries and library. According to the four-tier design of the, this statue probably was made in the first half of the 12th century CE. Bing Mayalia was a central point on a crossroads between east-west and north-south routes, 
where products from the Killen Mountains and neighborhoods along the Royal Road were exchanged, including significantly, marine products from the tunnel sap and even some foreign goods. It was also a checkpoint for staging military and ceremonial processions and other state missions to the east. Bing Maalia is an Angkorian temple, constructed on a flat plan, often described as two-dimensional version of Angkor Wat. The techniques of construction and decoration are recognized in a high standard and craftsmanship of Khmer art in particular. The design and decoration show a combination of three styles, Bafoun, Angkor Wat and early Bayon. Furthermore, it is an outstanding example of temple town landscape divided into regular orthogonal city blocks by the road grid and pond arrangements. Every block furnished with number of elevated occupation mounds and ponds. Importantly, it is a hydraulic city, based on managing water flowing from Kielan Mountain to the moat, beret, and the ponds. A 200m width dike near the temple was also used to supply water to the whole area around it, and was believed to have been used as the route for transporting the stone from quarries near Bingmaalia to Angkor. Bing Maalia is in a remote landscape setting, more authentically like the ancient landscape than many of the major temples of Angkor. After being virtually lost in the jungle for many years, no major conservation or restoration work has been done and most of its components are still intact and in situ, even if collapsed and some damaged. Bing Maalia is not part of Angkor Zone. However, this temple is under the management and protection from Apsara Authority the authority for the protection and management of Angkor and region of Siam Reap. Apsara Authority was doing some minor preventive conservation activities on the temple. Some international organizations are also taking part to do the researches and studies. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to get new videos. Thank you for watching.